And I spent a little bit of time trying to find a simple program that would kind of show me the speed differences you get with different techniques in Python. And so I have a sample program that has a 10 million long vector of triplets. And it basically, for all 10 million triplets, it calculates the log of each parameter, A, B, and C, and then it multiplies those three together and it puts it in a result array. And then to verify that we calculated the value completely, we actually um, will take that result array and sum it up. And then with the different methods that this thing runs, I can just verify that the sum was the same for all the algorithms and that gives me a feel that the results were actually calculated correctly in all of them. So there's basically five approaches I picked. Them, picked. Three of them are really the same thing with just no algorithmic differences. So one of them is just loop 10 million times, no JIT, straight Python, don't do anything else, kind of what you would do out of the box. This, and that took 12 seconds for 10 million on my two gigahertz machine. And then I took the same program and used the Numba JIT compiler with no code change other than JITting the compile, the math algorithm. And that change in a single threaded program actually gave me a 10x performance improvement. Um, so you have to warm it up first. You have to run a couple calculations first, but once those are calculated and you do the full size run, you actually get a 10 times performance improvement. It was mind boggling how much faster the Numba compiler makes your code with no code changes. I was really shocked that it was 10 times faster, but I guess I should have made, that should have made sense. Anyway, so this thing loops 10 million times and then it calculates these logarithms and multiplies them together. So that loop is super simple with no dependencies on it. It turns out in the number compiler, and I'll show you this, you can actually put at JIT parallel equals true on the same calculate method we used on these two. So I actually have three implementations of this calculate method that do the same thing. One with no JIT, one with at JIT on it, and one with at JIT parallel. And so, and so the loop part of that is the only method that got marked with parallel. And what that does is it's, uh, it actually analyzes it to figure out where the dependencies are, and it'll put it across all the threads that are available to the Python program. So in my case, that was actually, I have a 16 core 32 threaded processor on my machine. So that actually took this from, I mean, you can look here, basically this was more than a 10 times improvement. I figured it was like 12, I don't know. It, it's not 30 times faster, but it was amazing. So we, I went from 1.17 seconds for the 10 million loop to basically 90 milliseconds, right? And so if you knock that by 10, you got to keep going, right? You're, you're basically looking at another 10x, 12x in performance improvement. So making no code changes to this algorithm, I was able to go from 12 seconds to a 10th of a second. That was pretty cool actually. Um, so, and the code is identical and I can show you actually, you know what, I'll show you that real quick and then we'll come back. So if you look in this GitHub repo, which is linked in the message, actually it's the, um, do, do, do. it's the Git repo right here, right? So this repo right here, if you go there, you'll find the code for this. So basically all I did was you come up here in this case, I'm going to run the. I'm going to show you the core part of this. So there's a core file here. What I wanted to show you is basically when we do the math, right? We either JIT it or we don't. And the serial JIT and the parallel JIT both use the same method here because um, it's actually the loop that'll get parallel made parallel. So if you look at so this is the calculate, just do these two things. And this one is 10 times faster than that one, as we saw. So the only other difference to make those three function differently is I have a loop program for each of these, right? I have a no JIT serial, a JIT serial, and a JIT parallel. So the no JIT serial works exactly like you'd think. For I equals end in the range, uh, just call the math function, get the result back, and then later on we'll add it in the driver to make sure that the sum was right. If you want to JIT something, in this case, you don't even, the default is parallel equals false, I think. Um, this is the same thing. I put P range in here, but P range and range are really the same thing. And so this is the calculating. This is the one that's actually 10 times faster than that. You can see the code's identical. Um, this could even be the range command here. And I've, all the only difference was I put at JIT on it. 
So to make it parallel, because this is a simple loop with no dependencies between the nodes, all you had to do here was JIT the same method, parallel equals true. And uh, basically that will go out and the compiler will analyze the loop. It'll actually generate statistics if you want and tell you um, how that loop could be structured different to make it more independent. So those three methods are really just called by driver, CPU, no JIT, serial. And you can see these three methods are the same. So the way these fed into these calculations were the same, but the results were dramatically different, right? And, and all I had to do was use the Numba compiler for this. So if we were to go back to um, that, like I said, that's really it. You just make those few changes and you can drive a program, especially the more cores you have, this will make a huge difference. Um, I actually did this on my two, um, so this so this is the performance on a 16 core 32 thread. I did this on my laptop in Docker, super easy. Um, and you can see that the serial version um, and the parallel version aren't that different. That's because I don't have a, I only had allocated two cores, two threads for Docker. Um, but you can see the JIT still made a huge difference, right? It went from 13.8 seconds basically to 0.6 seconds. And then by using two threads, I got a 50% performance improvement. And that kind of makes sense because even in the other numbers, right, um, it was it was like even though I had like tw uh, tw 20 or 30, 30 processors, um, I only got uh, like a 12 or 15x perf performance improvement. So I'm going from the serial to parallel. So the big thing out of this really is just JIT your code. If you want to play with these. Um, you can actually do this super easy. You can pull down this repo. I actually did it on the laptop in Docker. It turns out the Anaconda 3 Docker container actually knows how to do this. Actually, I can show you that. So, do, 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 do. there we go. Wrong container. So if you look here, um, we can actually go here and I can see um, this container right here is this Anaconda 3 latest, right? Um, you can actually just if you're running Visual Studio Code and you're running Docker, you can attach the shell. So now I'm actually connect, connected to that container. Um, and it turns out if we go into So I actually mounted my GitHub repo into this Docker container and I can connect to it with um, with Visual Studio Code. And then here all I would do is go Python 3 desk demo.py. And so the next ones are pretty quick. So it'll run, it'll warm up the JIT. Okay, so the JIT parallel took 0.7. JIT serial took 1.3, right? So it's almost 2x faster. I got two cores. And then if I actually let it run without the JIT, this is the way you would do it if you're playing. Um, so like, it's kind of hard to imagine why you wouldn't JIT something, right? Like if, if there's any loop construct at all. So this will take like 13 seconds. So that's it. There'll be links in this uh, video that show you where this repo is you can play with. And um, it's got the readme that gives shows you the graph that shows how this works. And it shows you how to run this in Docker or what the minimal amount of work is to run this on your Linux machine. Like if you weren't in Docker. And that's it. Have a great day.